So here is my latest PSA return. I actually submitted three booster packs to PSA to get graded and they finally came back. The submission took about six months in total. And I already opened up the box just because I don't want to struggle on camera trying to open it. Because they package it really well. So let's see what we end up getting. So I actually already know the grades of these booster packs because PSA emailed me telling me that there is an upcharge. So obviously I paid the upcharge to get my cards back. And there are three three packs and they're all really rare packs and that's why I wanted to submit them to PSA to get them graded and the one of the reasons why I wanted to send my packs off was because there's new holders now at PSA for the packs itself so you can kind of see these packs now look really nice in the holders because they're very form-fitting in the past PSA used to bend these packs and fold them over which in turn ends up damaging the packs in all honesty. So it's kind of weird that they gave out gem intent and then they bent your pack, basically the wrapper. So if anybody had those old cases and they cracked the cards back out, I mean the packs back out and resubmit it to PSA, it's probably no longer tens because obviously it's going to leave like an indent where it was folded the whole time. Um, that's why I waited until now to send my packs off because of these new holders. It's great because now you can have the pack securely in these PSA cases undamaged. So you can kind of see now there's a specific spot here for the flaps. And there's even extra space, it looks like, for um, crimps that are longer. Because these base set packs, you can kind of see the crimps are pretty short. So let's see uh, the grades that we ended up getting. I'm actually very happy with this submission. So you can kind of see, oh, the first one is the Charizard pack already. This is the base set Charizard Triangle Error Packs. And for those who don't know, this is what the Black Triangle Error looks like. And it's basically something that the Pokemon company put onto like these packs to hide the first edition stamp. So you can kind of make out the first edition stamp a little bit in the back. It's because they use the first edition wrappers by accident, even though the cards inside are probably either unlimited or shadowless cards. And because they didn't want to, like, take the cards out, obviously, they just printed over it with this black triangle to cover it up. And that's how you end up with the triangle error packs. So this is a Gem Mint 10. So these packs are really valuable. I think the last time I looked, they were about, like, six to 8000 a piece. And the Charizard art is obviously the most expensive. So here's the pack. Very nice. So I have one of every artwork. Here's the Blastoise one. These cases are really nice. They're really like thick. And they're very sturdy. Like it definitely protects the packs really well. And I'm very happy with the grades that I got like I said. And I'm very happy that I got the new holders. Because I do know even though PSA has transitioned to these holders. They have been returning some submitters packs back in the old cases which is terrible because if if I got old cases I would not be happy so hopefully they've used up all of the old cases or got rid of all of them and they're just transitioning to just using all of these new cases because they're definitely a vast improvement over the original ones and then lastly we have the Venusaur so I have all three artworks all triangle errors all Gem Mint 10, so definitely very happy with this submission. And this is definitely going to go into my personal collection.